solid copper tracer wire. It can be expensive, and it's vulnerable to corrosion. That not only interferes with signal strength, it can also be dangerous. Just take a look at the standard copper tracer wire that's been exposed to sunlight for about a year. The jacket's been degraded, and the exposed copper conductor is already showing signs of corrosion. But now there is a tracer wire that's anything but standard. The new alternative is TraceSafe, a tracer wire that is constructed with a unique blend of high tenacity polyester and water blocking yarns to provide a superior combination of strength and water blocking characteristics. TraceSafe has multiple layers of protection built into the design, from the UV stabilizers incorporated into the outer jacket to a number of barriers on the inside, all working together to protect the copper conductor from corrosion. TraceSafe is part of a complete, easy to use system that virtually blocks water out from start to finish. Some industry experts are so impressed with this new tracer wire system from NEPCO, they refer to it as 21st century technology. We've turned to such experts to test TraceSafe. It all started last year with Mike Parallack of Staking University. He compared our 19 gauge water block tracer wire with a standard 12 gauge copper wire. The side-by-side -side comparison proved that TraceSafe gave higher signal strengths in virtually every instance. So this year we came back to Staking U to conduct another directional drill comparing our 19 gauge water block tracer wire to the standard 12 gauge solid copper. This video provides an overview of the field test and demonstrates how the trace safe system is used for directional drilling. The installation began by attaching the 19 gauge trace safe tracer wire to the pulling head, knotting it and securing it with duct tape. Note how the trace safe glides easily alongside the pipeline. Its super strong construction combined with specially designed water blocking yarns will allow it to withstand the harshest underground environments for years to come. The installation continued seamlessly. Notice that there was no kinking of the trace safe tracer wire which is a common occurrence with standard tracer wire. Here at the exit of the pole, we power wash the mud away so that the trace safe is in full view. For making inline splices or lateral connections, we've developed a variety of field friendly, no strip connectors that contain water blocking gel. With many traditional connectors, you have to strip the tracer wire jacket, increasing the chance for corrosion. With our optional trace safe connectors, no stripping means that neither the jacket nor the insulation is compromised virtually eliminating the chance for water to seep in. Plus, our connectors are designed to save a lot of time, aggravation, and labor costs. Simply insert the tray safe wire into the channel, twist to lock, and close with a pair of channel lock pliers. At the end of the installation, our unique locate clip was used to complete the tray safe system. Like our connectors, it requires no special tools or stripping of the tracer wire jacket or insulation. The locate clip, which is also filled with water blocking gel, encapsulates the tracer wire at the locate point, leaving no bare wire exposed to effectively block water out and prevent corrosion. The system is now complete, and it's ready for the locate technician to start the locate. According to Mike Parallack, TraceSafe had higher signal strength readings in every instance. Hi, I'm Mike Parallack with Staking University, and since 1998, we've been teaching people how to use electromagnetic locating equipment. Today, August 7th, 2012, we've been running a side-by-side -side comparison test for NEPCO. We've been working with them to get locating readings on their trace safe tracing product and comparing it to readings done exactly the same way on 12 gauge copper. It's very dry out here. We haven't had much rain hours south of Chicago at all this summer. So we were experiencing unique conditions from what we normally have. Now how we ran this test, we had six different locations along each wire, both the copper and the tray safe. So we took signal strength readings in the same exact locations over both wires and recorded those signal strength. We also grabbed the depth for both the 12 gauge and the parallel running tray safe. So the four frequencies that we ran in this comparison test were 512 hertz, 9.5 kilohertz, 38 kilohertz, and 80 kilohertz. The run of the wires are approximately 330 feet. What we found was in virtually every case, the 19 gauge wire inside the tray safe gave higher signal strength readings than in comparable sites on the 12 gauge copper. And this held true for each of the four frequencies.
So I'm thankful for NEPCODE giving me the opportunity to take a look at something like this. We're platform neutral, we're independent, we tell it like it is and we set up the testing today so that both the 12 gauge comper and the tray safe would be tested under identical conditions. Ultimately, this new system allows you to locate your lines faster and easier than ever before, with greater accuracy and the highest level of water blocking ever. The trace safe system is designed to locate natural gas, water and sewer pipelines, as well as telecommunication utilities. It is also ideal for pipe bursting and trenching applications. Find out more at tracesafe.com.